Howdy folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew and it is time for my Cowboy Logic segment. And, you know, again, what I try to do is get people to just think and think about different things and see if they make sense. Because, tell you what, man, over the last several years, maybe 10, 12 years, I mean, you it's kind of like boiling a frog in a pot. If you have a pot of boiling water, you throw a frog, he's going to jump out of there like this. But if you put a frog in a pot of water that's room temperature and you slowly increase the heat, he'll just sit in there and be lulled into him boiling to death. And what they've done with the with our government is they have slowly, and I think it really started kind of after World War II, they have slowly gone in there and continued to oppress us and squeeze us and push us into a corner of compliance get us to rat on each other, pit against each other and all that stuff. And to me, it just doesn't make any sense because today we're living in the most illogical of times. And I'll give you a couple of examples. I mean, logic to me would say that if there's rules, there should be rules for everyone. If the speed limit is 70 miles an hour, you know, except maybe law enforcement or something for an emergency, then everybody ought to have to drive 70 miles an hour. If the law is that you should wear, you have to wear a mask. I have flown recently and I'm wearing one of those stupid masks that makes no sense and none of the science proves that we ought to be doing it, but by golly, it's a law. And I have to tell you, I'm one of those people that believes that laws are guidelines made by men to control other men. And and by that, you know, all you sex folks out there going to say, women, LBGT, cows, kids, you know, whatever you want to. Laws are made by humans to control other humans. If you think about it, monkeys don't go out there and write laws. Now, they will if you go into their forest and you're taking pictures and they want that camera, they'll come snatch it from you and they'll tear that camera because they don't care what the laws are. And you're in their forest. It's the reason scorpions get in your house out in the hill country and they sting you because you're in their ecosystem. They're not in yours. You moved into theirs and then we kill them when they do. But listen to this. So we had this judge in Florida that came out and said, this mask mandate is absurd, it's unconstitutional, it's illegal, and I'm canceling it. So all the people that claim to always wear masks because they are our leaders, okay, (laughs) let me tell you what I watched in the videos over the weekend. Monday, our uh, White House occupant, who's a squatter in the White House, was out there and there was 30,000 people showed up and I just can't even believe 30,000 people even care to see the man. Anyway, 30,000 people show up out there for a good cause, although Joe Biden was not about to mention God in anything that he did, okay? Because if you say God, you're going to offend someone. But anyway, has 30,000 people out there and Biden is out there and he gets over to the edge where the people are after they do the roll and all that stuff. And he, and he starts talking to the people. And someone asked him a question about Afghanistan. So he starts to ask the question with whatever knowledge he has, which we're finding is almost none. But anyway, and the bunny, who happens to be his messaging czar, goes over and gets him away so that he can't talk to... They will not let the president of the United States talk to the people of the United States. Which, to me, that don't make no sense, but it gets funnier than that. You would think that the rules ought to apply to everyone pretty universally, right? You would think that if you can't do insider trading, even though you're the people that write the laws, you shouldn't be able to do insider trading either. You would think that if masks are meant to be worn and you believe in the efficacy of masks, then wouldn't you wear masks everywhere that you go to because you believe it? But we've seen the people that are in charge, our legislators, they go to the parties for themselves. The Obamas had that big old bash for his birthday, you know, a year and a half ago, whenever he turned 60 or whatever it was. All the servants had to have masks on, but none of his guests did because they're not about to be shamed like that. So Biden's out there walking around with 30,000 people at the Easter egg roll where you would think that there'd be you know, crowd, some big crowd effect from all the people, because I'm looking at the audience, most of them didn't have masks either. But this ruling had come down that, by gummy, you ought to wear these things on airplanes. And airplanes, the typical airplane exchanges all the air through the best filtration systems on the planet in an airplane in under three minutes. 
So don't you think that if something, even the smallest of organisms, was going to be present in the air? And an airplane doesn't move the air from the front to the back or the back to the front, so they need to be sitting there getting the wind from back there. No, it goes and it pulls it literally from where people are. It push, it may push it out right here, and then it pulls it in down on the floor. So, I mean, it's probably the most encased transfer of air on the planet anywhere you could be, okay? I used to be disappointed when I was a kid, and I realized I could fart in there, and I could smell it, but nobody around me could smell it. And I thought, they move this air too fast in an airplane. And I was a little kid. That's kind of funny to me. But listen to this. So Biden's out there with all these people, but to support the CDC and their belief, that everyone by gummy should still wear a mask, even though a federal judge said they don't have to. Biden then goes the next day, or maybe is that afternoon, and he goes to get on Air Force One and he made sure that the press caught him by himself walking to Air Force One with a mask on. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a dumb ass. And all of them like him. <laughs> Folks, get out there and live free or you're going to die. Appreciate y'all always tuning in. We'll see you again next week on the Wild Rose Crypto Show.